Take one, let's see if things are working properly. Normally it takes a couple tries. Fingers crossed, maybe it's working. Do, 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 do. Hey, is it working on the first try? It takes a couple tries. No way. We got it working on the first try. That's absolutely awesome. Let's go. It's time to start doing some knighthood. I uh, figure to start off today, we'll run a little bit of arena. Why not? Grab my tickets. I know that uh, one of my members is currently making a push. He's making a push in arena. So I'm trying to do my best and uh, give my support to my my fellow teammate and push our guild forward. Do 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 do. Looks all good there. Got on. Oh wait, I'm gonna switch up my shoulders. Do a quick switcheroo. Here, check this out. I have alchemist power that I've actually put into my mythic shoulders now because I use Brutus quite a bit. And uh, I don't know, Brutus is really useful. Same with Millicent. I, I've been really digging the uh, alchemist build quite a bit. And uh, Vordry can really hurt me with too much power. So I made these unique shoulders. And uh, they're pretty useful if I want to crank up my mage power if I'm not using Vordry. So this is a good example of a situation where it would be helpful in Arena. <clears throat> Let's see how we fare. Mm -mm -mm. Boop. Boop. Now with minion normal attack damage boost, we got a nice 4,500 and a 6,000. That's not bad. It's a bit of an increase. I had a whole bunch of them laying around, so I made the unique of it. Why not? One, two, three, and four. Wow, we didn't expose. What the hell? Normally we always expose. This guy's chunking away. Boom. Let's see if we can uh, finish him off even without the expose. Going for it. <gasps> Fingers crossed. We didn't get the expose. Damn, this guy's chunky. We might be in danger, guys. <laughs> Got the protect. That'll help us out. Oh, damn. This guy's bringing it. One, two, three, and we're going to expose. Yes, we got it the second time around. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up, Seeds of Evil? How you doing, man? <laughs> Bro, I am so excited for the new event. I'm ridiculously excited for it. I want it now. Uh, let's see if we can take this guy out. He's been a fight. Oh, he held in there. What a scrapper. Can we finish it with this? Boom. That was a good fight. Give that guy props. Uh, when's the new event? I think uh, I think the new event's gonna drop probably like I imagine next Friday, maybe. I'm not a I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, hopefully soon. I want to get it started. I want some of that new content. I've been enjoying the uh, expert um, guild bosses. The expert guild bosses have been fun to mess around with and uh, take on. It's pretty interesting, but it's still like a bit of like repeat content still. So seeing the uh, seeing the new event will definitely be really exciting. Like a hundred percent real content, new. <laughs> <clears throat> Super stoked for that.
Boom. 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 Expose. Nice. So that, uh, that Victor buff. Y'all see that Victor buff? He got that three turns of expose now. I've noticed a lot more people using them in arena. It's interesting. He's got a pretty crazy heal too, so... On that rage power, you could see in the last round that I just had. That guy gave a pretty good fight. Wap, 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 wap. Hoya! Here's our two fights for the day. We're gonna keep going though. Why not? What's this guy bring in? It's a weird combo. I don't think I've seen this combo. <laughs> they're both hunters, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they're both hunters. I know Caliban is. I'm not 100% on McLeod. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's hunter too. <clears throat> Boom! Boom! It'd be really cool to see uh, an awesome hunter build pop off soon. I'm really hoping with the new heroes and that, that, uh, damn, I didn't land the expose again. Are you kidding me? I got a unique expose chance up charm in my freaking gear. Land it. <laughs> uh, will we be able to do it without, uh, without the expose? Have I seen the new minions? The new minions look freaking crazy. I've only seen a post on them though. I haven't uh I haven't actually um seen any of them in the game yet. I was looking for them in the rift, but I didn't come by any. <laughs> Still got a little bit of rift to clear. Maybe we'll find them. Free reroll. You can check in the codex. Let's go take a peek. I actually haven't done that. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go check that now. Do 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 minions. Oh yeah, look, this used to be at a hundred percent. Now it's not for me. Oh, there's unique minions, eh? What? This thing looks so cool. Magical beast minion. Vulnerable to burn and weaken, resistant to acid and freeze. Its power has the chance to expose for three turns. That's huge. That's freaking huge. How much health does it have? I guess we can't uh, we can't accurately uh, look at its health right now. This is the other guy. Troll can... Hang on, let's go to this one. I want to read. Golden Blighthound. Some strange magic has corrupted this Blighthound, giving its frozen fur a golden hue. Ooh, that's badass. Um, Amberlina asks, uh, what is that? What is that? Well, it is um, minions that you can capture in the rift now, apparently, that uh, you could be able to bring into arena. So you'll need the uh, Rebel Gauntlet to catch this guy. He's of unique rarity, though. If you see, um, I'll put my head like, that's where he is. You can see those two are unique. What's his power? Expo. Oh, no. Chance to protect for three turns. So that's pretty badass. Um, vulnerable to expose and acid. Uh, resistant to burn and weaken. Let's read the little lore. <clears throat> Trollkin War Smasher. Trollkin War Smashers are rare due to their extremely violent and territorial natures. Perhaps if you show one your strength and offer the promise of regular violence. Ooh, that's badass. I like that. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We got the Stone Crusher Spider. What's up, Nigel? How you doing, man? Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Yeah, yo, I'm getting back at it. I figure we can uh, we can do it on Saturdays, you know. If we're if we're busy through the week, why not do it on Saturday? Doesn't mean that we can't still dream with the stream. 
All right, we got the uh, Stone Crusher Spider. It's power deals damage and delays target powers. That's pretty sick. Delay, uh, but it only works on minions. I don't know how I feel about this one. Not horrible. We got the Zargan Spellcaster. He has the chance to protect you for three turns. That's pretty cool. Vulnerable to burn and expose, resistant to acid. We have the Fenfolk Alchemist. Ooh, that sounds cool. I like that. Uh, it seems like he has a heal power. He is vulnerable to acid and unfocus, resistant to poison and weaken. And yeah, that's the uh, that's the new minions. Haven't come across any yet, but still got a bit of rift to go. Why not go take a peek? Maybe we can find some. Maybe this one here. Will my little gauntlet icon come up? If yeah, it definitely will. If uh, if they're available, isn't it? I haven't had that happen yet. Oh, that would be so exciting. I'm not sure what threat level we're at right now. I'll take a peek after this. Seems like we're still flying through pretty easily. Boop. I've actually really been enjoying uh, using the uh, Caliban and Alder combo in the Rift just because it boosts your Rift power so much because they're both uh, unique heroes. So you get that. Nice, we're at 305. We're already at max. Dope. Um, you get that. Uh... I, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, you get that, that huge 60 boost to your uh, Rift power. And um, their auto just works well with the uh, Logician's Gauntlet. I've really been messing around with the Logician's Gauntlet, too. It's fun. I like bouncing around gauntlets once I get bored. I've actually been working on the Holy Gauntlet a whole bunch now, too. I'm, uh, I'm wondering if they ever patch the Chaotic Gauntlet and fix it with uh, Brutus, then I think the Holy Gauntlet will probably be the next best thing to jump to for that like similar type of combo. So been working on that one I always go all over the place though I have a hard time picking one <laughs> stop hurting me looks like a beauty day outside I'm gonna be going to the beach later I'm not excited look at that look at our rift power too we almost finished the gloves, we've almost finished the helmet, and then everything's gonna be, well, not our weapons, but our rift gear is gonna be all maxed out. Do, 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 where are we now? Let's do Infernali. We got a chance at some hammers. I wouldn't mind getting those uh, legendary hammers so that I could crank my. Uh, my mythic hammer a little bit more. I'm actually gonna go hammer. We're gonna go our classic, rocking the classic. Switch up the gauntlet. Chaotic. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Always appreciate the love. Streams already have four likes. That's dope. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure what I put as my, uh, what the trap is right now. I think it's only time warp. warp. I think I have three time warps active. Um, we will do, if it's power charge speed, we'll go one, two, buckle my shoe. Yeah, Nigel says that the devs should have thrown in some new risk rift bosses while they were at it i would have loved to have seen some new rift bosses like um i i'd really like to see um i think it would be cool to see like some of the realm of fire boss like uh roaming monsters just as like a rift boss like maybe like a more tanky version of uh one of them 
as a riff boss. Like, the you know the big block golem guy? Like, I'd like to see him as a riff boss over, um, over the mushroom guy, you know? Like, the, he's a way cooler, like, golem enemy, if you ask me. That's, that's just, like, a personal opinion, though. Mm -mm -mm. You can also check for the new heroes in the codex and the event cape. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I actually peeked that. We'll go. We'll go check that out after this. The new event heroes are pretty exciting. I'm all stoked. The new content is coming, and it is coming soon. Been enjoying the expert guild bosses too. I think I said that already, but, like, it's been fun. I've been actually, like, using the, the type of heroes for um, for their specific types, and, that it, and that's been fun to, like, mess around with. Like, Alder against uh, the mil big militia guy. I used uh, Hearn and... Um, Hearn and Ursula for the demon, the Mogwar. And then uh, I was using... Ulfred and uh, Ermis for the uh, Dagon guy. It's fun. I, I've been really like messing around with all of the heroes that have 45 and like never really messed around with yet. All right, we got our core. We got Protect Rush. We got Super Knight Core. We got Super Knight Core. We got Hell Charm. Yay. Need those. We got Orpiment. We got Super Knight Core. We got Super Knack Core. <laughs> Got Stun Resist Charm. Uh, freeze Resist Charm. Whole bunch of resistors. And Burning Swap. And Protect Rush Charm. Not bad. I've been, I, I want to make a unique um, Protect Play Button Charm for like messing around with some combos, but yeah. It'll be exciting. Let's actually go take a, a peek. Um, Naheen was saying that we could check out the uh, new heroes in the Codex, so we're just going to go take a peek at that quick. Boop-a-doop. Boop-a-doop. Where do we go here? Heroes. Oops. So, on the legendary side of things, one sec. <clears throat> Sorry. On the legendary side of things, we have a... A Kale? A Kale. I'm going to go with a Kale. That's how I'm saying it. And uh, he's a demon type hero. He's got his base power absorbs strength, deals damage to your current target, and dispels buffs from your target, restores your health or armor by the same amount, and Hatch, which restores health and armor, and has the chance to stun. So... Mm, I don't know. He's going to be an interesting hero. I feel like he could be really cool. Wait, did he just have something come out of his egg? I want to see that again. Akeo. Oh. oh, he's got a little dragon. He's got a Mulan. That's adorable. Oh, I didn't know that. That's so cool. Um, Akeo belongs to the race of diminutive forest spirits that dwell in the forest. Oops that dwell in the forest of the Lost World. To evade the Dark Ones, her people would disguise themselves as beings already twisted by the invaders' experiments. Oh, so it's like a little, like, mask. That's so cute. I actually really like this hero now. It's Mushu. What did I say? Did I say it's a little Mulan? <laughs> I think I said it's a little Mulan. Yeah, it's Mushu. Thank you, Amber. I appreciate that. Um, and let's go check out the unique hero. No! She just did a Naruto run up and she has an Ambu Black Ops mask on. Are you shitting me? Ah! I love this hero. A logical hunter. That's awesome. <laughs> Poison Claw deals damage to your current target and ignores armor. Chance to poison for three turns. Yeah, deal damage to help. Yeah, three turns. Distribute damage across all enemies and ignore armor. Dispel buffs from the target. This is 
What? Let's go. Mikazu. Mikazu. No, Mikazuki. 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 There we go. Mikazuki lived her days protecting human settlements from the shadows. The humans distrusted her, but that didn't matter. She had a job to do. She fought bravely against the dark ones. That's pretty cool. Milios says he wants the tail cape for the next event. <laughs> that would be amazing. Let's go check. Cape. Boop. Where's the event cape? This one? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. I'm not too big on that cape, I'm not gonna lie. I don't hate it. It's cool. It's got that Japanese style. When we see what the, the armor looks like, it'll probably go with it. It'll probably have a cool vibe. I really like those heroes, though, and the powers, how they work. That, that's freaking awesome. Okay, let's catch a Rift Minion. <laughs> uh, what are we rocking here? I'm going to put this up. Yeah, Ghost of Toshima vibe there. I see that. I see that. I didn't have my mythic shoulders on. Put them on there. We'll go with flocks, and we'll go with we'll go with that. Uh, you know what? We'll just keep on keep on with that. We're rolling. Let's get it. Where are my Rift Minions at? So is that live? Is that like in it? Like, like are they capturable now? Or is that something that's coming with Expert Rift? Can anyone tell me that? I feel like I could read the in-game news and it would probably tell me. But I've been Mr. Lazy Pants. <laughs> Haven't been looking. I got I got my, my homies here telling me what's up. It's nice. Round three. Well, bam. He held on, eh? Little bugger. Little bugger held on. And that's that. Moving along swiftly. Swiftly, we move along in the rift. Hello. What do we have here? Catalyst. We'll grab a catalyst. Boop -ba doop -ba doo. Where are my Rift Minions at? Okay, hang on. I'm actually going to go check. I want to see if Rift Minions are, are active. Next update, part two. Greetings. Today we are going to be talking about the upcoming changes to the Rift. We hope these changes will help keep the refresh for veteran players who are experienced at venturing into the Void, as well as making it even more exciting for our newer knights. Coming up, our new layouts will be adding new layouts and changing some of the existing ones. As well as adding a variety, this will accommodate new features. Minions, in the upcoming update, you'll have the chance to find brand new legendary and unique minions in the rift to join you in the arena and the hidden shop. shop. Um, I'm doing good, man. Uh, the hidden shop is a bizarre run by everyone's favorite skeletal rift guide containing a host of useful items as well as rift exclusive skins. All coming in the next update. Keep an eye out. In the news for more information. So is that live? Like, is, uh, can we capture them now? Because I know I did the update throughout the week. I'm not sure if that was part of the update or if we have to wait for the Demon Gate update. Has anyone caught a, a new minion? <laughs> 
I'm I'm genuinely like curious here. I'm not sure. Smashing and mashing. Like, is that expert riff stuff? Oh no, I'm dizzied. I haven't been dizzied for a long time. <clears throat> like, is there a bone? Is Bones active this week? Already? The, like, riff dude? I'm gonna go pull up Mr. Emilios' page because he posts my maps that I love oh so much. Emilio's, do, 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 do. Where are your maps? Week, week 36, here we are. No, I don't think it's active yet. No. Not active yet, then. Mm -mm -mm. Smashing through the rift. Weaken. No weaken. Unfocus. Am I going to get dizzied again? Don't dizzy me. Bloody hell. I jinxed it earlier by saying I haven't been dizzied for a while. I'm spinning. My head's spinning, guys. Help me. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Ooh, they held in there. <laughs> this is fun. Single turn action. This is what expert riff's gonna be. You only have one turn. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would actually be fun. In a very unfun way of strategically having to work your way through everything. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And cut that expose. Try and avoid the dizzy again. I'm actually having to hone in a bit now. <clears throat> boop, boop, and boop. One more guy. Boomba. Man, I would absolutely love to see a riff menu. Pop up for me. Uh, we'll grab a key. We will. Oops, pulled up chat there for a second, sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. You want to do a boss? Let's do a boss. I really want to get a uh, charm chisel from this guy. If I could get a charm chisel from him, then. Um... Do, 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 what, what am I thinking here? What am I saying? If I get a charm chisel, then I'm going to work on my uh, my sword because there's a slot that I messed up on it. And I want to I wanna try and fix it. So I'm going to be poking. Taking a poke with it. Where's Millicent? Why am I all messed up here? Millicent. Brutus. Set to go. Taking on the 
freaking bucket head. Do one, two, base power poison. And do I have another action? No, that's it. Man, is this the week that I finally get my full star Millicent? I would be so freaking happy about that. Give it to me. I don't think I can get Millicent shards from this guy. Who is the one that gives Millicent shards? I, I always seem to get a bunch from the rift. I can't remember which bosses specifically give it, though. Alright, throwing out the good old poison against our old friend Buckethead. This is only going to get worse for you soon, buddy. Got the base power to give us that full rage yet again. Which we will continue to poison the field with. And then, as usual... The final blow of a stun. See you later, good sir. Big 645 on the experience. So close. So close on the shoulders. So close on the hand. So close on the head. Let's see what we get. We got a poison defense charm. We got a Focus Rush Charm. Mega Speed Core. We'll take those. Mega Speed Core. We take those. Super Night Core. Mega Speed Core. Charm Chisel. Nice. I think we need one more. Rogue Power Charm. <gasps> Did it just happen? Did it just happen? Did it just happen? Let's get it. Oh, bask in the glory of Millicent at full star capability. That's awesome. Man. Fun fact. When I first started playing this game on my very, very first day, um, I remember I got a hero chest on the very first day. This is way, way, way back. And uh, I opened up a single hero chest. And I remember... Millicent was the one that popped out of it and Millicent was actually my first legendary hero ever and to see her at full stars like after all this time is like really amazing this is honestly like a thing in game that I never thought that I would achieve being able to get like multiple legendary heroes to full stars so wow that is so awesome hang on give Millicent a kiss we got another Mega Speed Core. We got another Charm Chisel. We willed it. We're willing our powers here. Another Mega Speed Core and a Deadly Strike Charm. Very nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. Pretty happy with those rewards. Not gonna lie. We got that Millicent at full power now. We're gonna be messing around with that. Uh, now, as I was saying, I wanted to edit the charms on this. Oh, man, fingers crossed. I want to get a freaking critical slot in this bad boy so bad. And I'm taking a poke at it. We got a square. No worries. That's all right. Might actually throw, maybe we'll throw like a blue, um, a blue one in there or something. That could be cool. Let's keep rolling with Millicent. Let's see what this full star Millicent with Catalyst is going to be like. I'm excited. Oh, I'm really happy I got that on stream too. That's so cool. Man, Millie. My Millie. <laughs> Poison. Let's see what this ticks for. 
8,000. 6,400. Hoo wee! I am going to be enjoying that. Man, so cool. <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, I think that opens up a trap node behind him, doesn't it? Grabbing our keys. Getting a key. I used a key to open up a door that did absolutely nothing for me in the rift this week, and I felt so stupid opening it. I felt like a silly goose. Let's take on Inferny. Got a chance at some hammers, acid strike charm, health charms. We like those health charms. Health charms are always nice to get. Keep it rolling with our combo. I'm happy. I got my full star Millicent, baby. Oh, yeah. One, two, buckle my shoe. Poison. Ah, oh, I'm already loving it. Loving it so freaking much. How many, uh, how many rounds is this one? Oh yeah, it's a, I forgot I'm doing the boss. Uh, we'll go... Who needs strong versus demon when you have a Millicent at full star? Definitely, I, I remember when I first, first started rifting, how much I hyped up uh, Millicent in the rift. And, man, after all this time, what is it, week 30, what is it, what are we on? Hang on, I gotta do a check quick. Week 36, holy shit. It's been freaking 36 weeks. That's insane. After all this time, finally got another one to full. I'm getting close on gun, too. Gun is really close. Um, I'm really close with uh, Erickson as well. And uh, Logan. Logan was getting pretty far. We got some mucklucks. Nice. We got a hero core. Hero core. As the strike. Warp him in. Hero core. Health charm. Nice. I think I have enough to make a legendary now. And I actually need to. So that's awesome. Hero core. Gun. Look at that. No way. Could you imagine if we did two in the rift in the same week? Really, really close on that. Do, 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 do. All set to go. Sorry about that. I think I lagged out for a second there. Wi Fi got all funky. Apologies for the low quality. It'll kick back in in a second. Uh, one, two. Boomba. That's how we do. 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 5,000. Death to all. Why is my quality so low right now? Come on, fix yourself. <laughs> Sorry, guys.
<laughs> Look at this. Bring on the expert riff, baby. We're all ready to go with our uh, full star heroes. <laughs> we are going to just keep on going with this combo here all the way up to Mr. Gorbash. <laughs> you know what I would absolutely love right now? I would absolutely love a cup of tea that just magically appears in my hands. A splendid cup of tea. This is just, I, I, I'm just going to be spamming this for the rest of my stream, guys. Sorry, I wanted this for so long. Here, I'm actually going to go show you some things that I put, that I made specifically for this. After this, we're going to lower our riff power by 50. But you know what? I'm curious to see. So we hit 8,600. 8,611. On that enemy in the back there. With a poison tick. But. If you actually check this out. Okay. These are my mythic uh, boots. We got the extra health. And just a freaking shit ton of mage power. But we're not using any mage mages with um, with this combo right now. We're using Brutus and we're using Millicent to um, Alchemist. So we're going to pop these boys on. We got a 40% boost to Alchemist. And then we're going to add another 64% um, poison damage along with the 100% poison damage boost that we just had with Millicent getting to full star and catalyst active boosting any status ailments by 200% and we're just gonna we're gonna see how that works for us let's see how this combo goes now we were hit, hitting for 8611 on demon enemies I want to try and find a demon one with demons of course, we don't have any demon enemies. <laughs> Maybe this one? No. It's alright. We'll rock this anyways. I'm curious to see if uh, the poison tick boost and alchemist boost is worth it with the sacrifice of rift power. Stream connection not stable. Oh, we're good. All right, let's see how it lands. It's an extra 40% boost. We got, ooh. Ooh. Now consider that these are not strong verses. So that's pretty impressive actually. Hmm, maybe I'm onto something here. Be awesome if your freaking, uh, your unique gear could get, uh, rift power as well. I'd be so happy with that. 7,800, 7,800, 7,000, bam, baby. Finish him off with the base. Let's go. Look at us go. One. Two, base power. Nothing can stop us. Ugh, this is just, we're flying with this combo. I love it. I love it. <laughs> So good. We're 
What do we got? 30. Nice. Very nice. And then we got Mr. Gorbash, which we have a chance to get Hammers and Eric. Maybe we can get uh, a little bit closer with Eric. Uh, we're going to keep our boots off. Why not? We're having fun. Using unique boots. <laughs> we will... One, two... Base power. Big rage. Let's see what it hits for these outlaw guys. Nice. 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 That's Gorbash. I hope y'all enjoyed my Gorbash impersonation. One. Two. His armor goes down quick, eh? He's not even that, uh... He's not that tough. What's it hit him for? I don't know if he's resistant. No, nope, he's still strong. Still good. Still worth. Stun. Poison. Could probably apply more, but there's no point. Boop, boop. <laughs> Big 690. Very nice. Very fine. We got ourselves a Super Night Core. Freeze Resist Charm. Super Night Core. Super Night Core. Super Night Core. Deadly Strike Charm. Nice. Super Night Core. Holy crap. What the hell? What is with this Super Night Core thing? Nice. Another health charm. We need those. What? is going on I, I I think 11 of those rewards were super night cars what the hell <laughs> this is so weird let's go uh rapper rapper doodle up down here I'm gonna switch to Monsieur Vordry I'm actually going to put my boots back on, too. Get that rift power back. I wonder if with those boots I can make a unique. I haven't made a, a unique item in a long time. Maybe we can make another thing that we can make like a interesting build with. Ah, oh, that would be awesome. I think I might actually have enough for a head right now. I think I got um, a legendary head out of a roaming monster chest the other day randomly. So if I got that, maybe we can go see if we can get lucky with that. That would be cool. Burn it. Burn it down. Let's see if we can just board dry blast him away. Oh, jeez, yeah. No problem. You know, just quickly slicing and dicing. Can asks, what is my favorite gauntlet? Um, I, I honestly, I can't decide, man. There's so many fun gauntlets and, like, fun different combos. I really liked, um, when I was first, like, initially getting into the combos and stuff in the game. I really, really loved the Maverick gauntlet. 
that mage charge speed and uh, gaining your rage on critical hits, that was so much fun. I really focused a lot of builds around that. But uh, as I got further in the game, I got a little bit bored with just doing the same thing. So I started upgrading different gauntlets. And you can really feel how different heroes become just so much more accessible when you, uh, when you finish a gauntlet. Um, like, the Logician's Gauntlet is absolutely amazing with Alder. Uh, the Chaotic Gauntlet's just freaking crazy with Brutus and Millicent and the Rift. Um, you got your, your Lawful Gauntlet that's absolutely awesome with Rogue Heroes. Rogue Heroes are just freaking great with that gauntlet. Um, there, there's so many different gauntlets that are cool. I'm actually even working on the uh, Holy Gauntlet right now because I'm curious to see how it works with the uh, Alchemist and um, with Brutus as well because his base power does give you regenerate, so that would be a nice little chunk of boosted rage as well. It's fun. Experiment. Everything's really uh, accessible in the game. The one gauntlet I haven't messed around with too, too much would be um, the Dark Gauntlet. I'm just not a fan of its rage gains as much, but... Still a really fun, like, gauntlet for warriors and that. It it definitely would work in that, so. All gauntlets are interesting, in my opinion. If I had to pick for Rift, probably Chaotic. Smashing and mashing. That's what we do. Alright, uh, we could go up that way. Is there anything else we could unlock in here? Really? Keep looking around. What can we get from this demon boss? I know he's got some pretty good rewards. Is he the unique regenerate on chain start? I hope he's not. Pretty sure he has better rewards than that, though. I can't remember, though. Once we kill this last batch here, we'll go take him on. Uno, dos, tres... Mm, 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 mm. Base power probably give us full rage. Yep. That'll do it. Hiya. One, two, three, uh, dang it. I knew it was going to hang in there. I had a feeling. You could tell. This is an easy floor. That's good. That gives us a chance to get our base power again. Full rage. And we'll just... Hit him twice. Poison will wrap it up. Boomba. Poisoned. And then we'll just three times. Wrap things up quick. K.O. Alright, we're gonna go take on the boss. What is the unique charm he gives? Oh, he's got the acid damage charm. That's pretty badass. That would be nice. 
I'd like to get a rift later. I'd like to get some charm chisels. I haven't got the uh, the Zoe back bling ever. That'd be neat to get. Uh, for this fellow. That's what I do for this. We just boardrify him. Boardrifying works too. Don't underestimate Brutus rage power as well if you want to save your health too. You can wrap up a room pretty good. You got that regenerate still. This is actually good. This will give us the opportunity to build our hero powers a little bit more. Um, puts us at half. I wonder if I use um, Vordry's base power, if that'll put me to almost full rage. Oops, I actually shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well. It's gonna be a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I made things interesting. Ouch. Kame ha me ha. Mm, one, two, and base power. Ha me ha me ha. Look at that, 720 over there. Oh, we're so close on the shoulders. So freaking close. What do we get this week? Mega Nightcore. Deadly Strike Charm. Super Night Core. Super Speed Core. Orpiment. Unfocus Resist. A Charm Chisel. Mega Night Core. Super Speed Core. Mega Night Core. Mega Night Core. Two Unfocus Resist. Come on. And another Charm Chisel. You know what that means? We could take one more poke. We could take one more poke. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Give us that crit. A diamond. Hmm. Hmm. Not too big on diamonds. Oh well. We tried. We tried hard. Not a bad rift run for this week. I don't think... Uh, I don't know if the, the rift minions are in the game still. <laughs> Gonna love me some Max Millie. It's very nice. Let's see what we got on the roamers right now. Anything uh anything that we want to bite for there? Not really too much. Let's do this one down here. Outlaw burn ranged. Oh, I hate having to switch. Outlaw weapon. Outlaw hero burn. Okay, we'll go with that. Outlaw burn. We need ranged armor. Equipping ranged armor. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Oh, I cracked it. Hello, burn ranged. Oh, yeah, we were going to do the uh, unique forge. I forgot about the unique forge. We'll go do that right after this. Two, three, four.
Boop, boop, boop. One, two. Let's just burn them. I'm getting it out of the way. Hope you enjoy my sound effects. Yay, we got some gems. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, let's go do our unique forge. I'm curious, hopefully we can get, uh, you know what would be absolutely, oh, our bounty just popped up. I'm gonna kill that quick. That's three times it, I don't care. Screw objectives. What, oh, whatever. Do 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 One two three Kill Bounty Another one I always get so stressed when I complete my bounty board late in the week because I'm always worried that I'm going to have one more and it's going to be a unique bounty and I'm not going to be able to complete it. Ugh, all of them are active right now. Why? Why do you do this to me? I'm being bad and not doing objectives right now. I know. I'm being a lazy Xantos. Trying to get them done. We still have that unique forge. Hold on tight. Don't worry, we're getting there. Maybe I can be like Emilios this week. He pulled a a four a quadro hero charm. Okay, we're just gonna go do it. We're doing it now. Go to Dwarven Foundry. Equipment. We have a chance at a helmet, so we can do a helmet. We're gonna do it. Two, three, four, five, six. Fingers crossed. Let's get that freaking at least three hero charms. Three hero charms and a bow tie. That would be amazing. That's what I want. Three hero charms and a bow tie. Meh. Mixed nuts. That's what I call that. We got a mixed nuts helmet. Oh, I was really hoping we could have got something nice or there. Mm -mm -mm. What does that dismantle to? Chance at a hero charm. Why not? Fingers crossed. That's the worst you can get. I absolutely hate when you freaking get that. And also, I don't think I've ever snagged a unique charm from a unique breakdown. It's so unfortunate. I hear all these stories of like the greats that have got their crazy unique hero builds and that. Never happened to old Santos. Sorry. Steady grind and dedication, that's how we do. That gives us another target completed. to just go codex i wonder if there's uh the event weapons could we see the event weapons it's normally just skins now so i guess we can actually yeah now that i 
Now that I think about it, we can't peek the event weapons yet. But man, those new heroes. Whew. I am so excited. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I'm so excited to play around with this. It's going to be freaking sick. That's going to be awesome. Do, 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 do. All right, I think we're uh we're nearing the end of uh stuff we can do around here for now. Might do a couple more arena fights. Once we fly through the arena fights, we'll uh We'll continue onward. We're going down to the beach today, me and my girl. We're gonna go to uh, Wasaga Beach and just have a nice day up there. It's gonna be fun. What am I doing? Why am I putting them time? Do, do, do. Pop on our sword. Put on our Logician's Gauntlet. Set to go. As always, big thank you to everyone tuning in today. Always appreciate. It's always nice to kick it with all of y'all. Have a good Saturday weekend together. This guy's bringing the uh, Vordry. Vordry Brutus combo. Gonna spam Vordry on me. Let's see how strong your mage power is. Boy. He's rocking a holy gauntlet with it. I kinda like that style. That's cool. Two, three, expose. Be cool if I could see some uh some knights in the chat in the arena. That'd be amazing. Oh, this guy does not have very much health. That Vordry did quite a bit of damage to him. Things are not looking very well for you, sir. This may be the end. Cha 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 cha. Why is my dog barking? Stop barking. Yeah, like I said, uh, this week, uh, Starburst Stream has been pushing a little bit. We're in we're in the top 10 right now. Hanging out with 6,453 arena points. But if you actually peek the top knights for this week, hanging there in fourth, <clears throat> you're going to see... The very phenomenal, the very amazing Nigel of Starburst Stream. This guy's an absolute beast. It's really interesting to uh, to see him pushing in that and, and doing his best in the arena and representing for our team. So big shout out to uh, Nigel for for going hard this week, brother. I really hope that uh, that you succeed in your par Paragon push because. <coughs> I know that it's really, really hard to do. Look at that, too. In fifth place, we got our other boy, Sir Moor Bay. This guy's an absolute beast. He, uh, he's actually been streaming um, a little bit of Knighthood on his Twitch channel. So uh, if you guys want to go and check out another really, really talented, very, very powerful player... Go check out this guy's stream. I believe if you just type in Sir Moore Bay on uh, Twitch, it'll take you to his page. And uh, you can check out some of his streams and some of his past content and that. This guy is such a good guy, man. Like, he's just such a, a really friendly person and outgoing and just positive. So to see Nigel and Sir Moore Bay right beside each other there, that's awesome. Bear, this guy's an absolute champion. I remember fighting this guy in the arena a ton. He's freaking beefy. Very, very powerful. Is Sir Morbet in the Paragon League? Or is he in... 
Where does it say? Yeah, he's in the Paragon League already. So, Nigel is actually in Champion League, so who would the next champion be? I'm not sure. So cool to see so many people pushing though. After all this time too, wow. You guys are crazy. Mandalorian. Like here's knights that I recognize. We got we got um Bang POS. He's crazy. Uh I recognize War Machine still freaking going strong. Mad Moxie. Mr. Owl, I've seen there before. Zephyr. Zephyr's been going for a ridiculous amount of time too. Mandalorian, crazy amount of time. All the Slayer League, I mean. This uh, this guy's another absolute champion in this game. True freaking beast. Look at that. He's got the uh, Wintertide um, first place in the Wintertide event too. Yeah, that's an absolute champion. What a beast. What a, I bet you he's got five stars. Full stars. Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Absolutely destructive knights. Campos guy. Zephyr. What else we got down here? This is fun. I'm enjoying going through some of the old knights. Ghost G. This guy's another freaking phenomenal knight for the community. Really, really positive guy. Always coming up with fun ideas. Rocking that warrior build right now. Check out these charms. I wish you could see, like, the actual charm that they are. I'm almost 100% though. All of these are warrior charms right now. That's probably an exposed chance up. All warrior charm. Like, ugh. He's so good. Interesting choice. Hasn't hasn't messed around with his uh, myth, myth piercer at all yet. But yeah. Big ups to Nigel. Hope you make your Paragon push this week, brother. That would be awesome. Do a couple more fights and that'll be it. Super Will? Nah, I'm Will. Switch up to our hammer because he has the uh, Vampire Lore Master. We can quickly take out his Vampire Lore Master with our hammer. No problemo. Man, I do all this with a one-star alder. Could you imagine if I had a freaking... What did I mean have there? I think he had like a six-star six alder. That's freaking amazing. What a champ. Absolute beast. I'm over here getting all hype about a full-star Millicent. This guy's rocking an alder combo as well. Expose! Here comes an alder. Oh no, he's exposing me first. Kia. Kia. It's the cha 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 cha. You win. Let's push up that Starburst stream score. You gotta do it for the team. You gotta rep it for the squad. Put on a little bit of extra mage power there. We take that, we take that. I'm really excited. Um, my friend Kensoy, and she, he's uh, also a member of my guild, um, he entered into the Knighthood fan art competition. I think he just did an absolutely amazing piece. He did a piece on uh, all of the unique heroes in the game. And I just, I really, really enjoyed his art. I, I thought it was so good. I thought it was going to win. Um, nothing against the one who won, too. The person who took first place looked absolutely amazing, too. The Pe Petra Brutus picture. That was so freaking cool. It reminded me of the gorillas. Um, like a gorilla the the group the musical group gorillas 
like some fan art from that. Uh, I thought it was freaking cool. Um, but yeah, my friend Ken Soy, uh, he's a digital artist and he's going to be making up a, a picture of my night. I'm really excited to see it. Cha 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 cha. That little bit of extra mage power really does help. Really nice to toss that in the back pocket. Let's see uh, if that boosted up the top guilds at all. A little bit. I'm not gonna be making it up to uh, all the way up there, but man, Nigel. What an absolute beast this week. Give credit where credit is due. Absolute champion. So proud of you, man. Keep slapping. What a beast. Woohoo! Well, I really hope that uh, everyone enjoyed the stream today. Had a nice time just vibing out on Saturday with you guys. I can't believe we actually got uh, that full star Millicent on stream too. I'm really happy about that. It was nice to see uh, that I could have that moment shared with all of you guys. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the stream, please smash the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We, uh, we keep that stream going every week. We're a little bit busy throughout the week now and uh, things have been a bit crazy in life. But, um, you know what, we're keeping the stream going, and we're, we're keeping the vibes alive, you know? Uh, sticking to my motto, staying grinding, that's what we do, you know? <laughs> so yeah, hope all of you enjoyed, and as always, stay grinding, peace out.